Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the Text Mesh Pro on the Lean Localization asset. So let's just get started. So to get to use the Text Mesh Pro instead of the regular text, what you would have to do is of course set up your Lean Localization Manager. I just have one translation which is high and I have it in English and in Spanish. And then uh, we have this text, uh, text Mesh Pro UI. So it's not the regular text. Uh, if you guys don't know how to download this, just uh, I'll post a link up above uh, that'll show you how to download the Text Mesh Pro. But it's pretty simple. Just right click, uh, go to UI, and then go to Text Text Mesh Pro or any of these Text Mesh Pros, and it will ask you if you want to download it, import everything, and uh, uh, you'll get this Text Mesh Pro. So uh, the problem is now that if you uh, you you try to add the localization script which is lean localized text if you try to add that one so let's just type it in lean localization text which is this one right here so if i click it as you can see it says can't add text to text text mesh pro because the text mesh pro gui is already added to the game object and a uh, game object could only contain one graphic component. So what we could do uh, for that to stop is uh, we could open up the lean localization, uh, localized text and we could type in. So we would have to type in the namespace. So for you guys that don't know how to code, I will talk about what namespace is and all this is in a later video. I just want to show you guys how you could do this at text mesh pro with the lean localization so we could put using and as you can see there is no text mesh pro so what should happen is in this list we should see text mesh pro but we do not so for example let me go over here to player movement and if i put using text mesh pro as you can see i get this namespace which i don't with um, with this script now the I'm not sure what the reason for that is but I do know how to fix it so for you to be able to use this namespace what you could do is just go to your project and drag this uh, lean localized text script anywhere else on your project that is not on the lean uh, folder so it could be anywhere that's you know not on the lean localized folder and I'm just gonna drop it into my assets real quick and as you can see, it is right here. Now, if I if I go back to it, it's gonna say, um, you know, save changes, this and that. And I'll put yes. And now, as you can see, when I put text mesh pro, okay, let me see what's going on. So let me double click on it. Okay. So now, so when you move it out here, just uh, instead of doing what I was doing and just going straight to Visual Studios, make sure you double click this script. Uh, that way the right script comes out. So this should be the right one. So now I'll put using text mesh pro and there you go. We could use the namespace and it's grayed out because we're not currently using it at the moment. So what we could do is start using it. So require component, when you add this script, what require component does is it will add for you the component that you specify right here in this uh, in these parentheses so type of text mesh pro uh, or TMP sorry TMP text so it's gonna require this component so if your game object doesn't have it it will um, add it for you and then we could go over here and just change this to the same thing TMP underscore text we could copy this and do the same thing down here just paste it and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So now if we go back and we try to add the script, we shouldn't get no error. So um, so we could clear this. Oh, it's not letting me clear it. Let me go back. Okay, for some reason it didn't save or something. Hold on, let me check. It seems like I have two. Yes, I do have two. Okay, so it looks like I might have copied and pasted it. Okay. So yeah, just make sure you didn't copy and paste it like I did. I don't know how I did that, but uh, so just make sure you have one lean localized text 
So just one of them, look, I have two. There's, yeah, I had two for some reason. So I'm gonna delete this real quick, delete. And now that error should be gone. Let me go back. Now hopefully the error is gone and I can show you that it works. Okay, so now no more errors because we only have uh, one script now. Now if I add this script, uh, the one that we were trying to add earlier, the lean localized text, as you can see, now we can add it and we could, you know, go through our translation, translation list, which right here I only have one, which is high. So I'll click on it, go high. And now when I hit play, when I hit play um, and go to the manager, I could actually change between English and Spanish. You can see the letters are too big, but yeah, I could just adjust it right here. So yeah, as you can see from Spanish to English, and I'm pretty sure this will work with any language as long as you have uh, your settings correct. And then also, so you guys can see, you know, the Text Mesh Pro works with it. So I could even, uh, you know, add an outline to it, thicken out the outline, uh, add some softness, you know, whatever I want. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to show you guys how you could use the lean like lean localization with Text Mesh Pro. I had somebody ask um, how to do it, and I thought it would be useful for other viewers that wanted to see how to do this. So uh, just hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. If you learned something, hit that. Um, subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this and once again thank you